Hey guys, today is October 31st. That makes it the final day of Inktober. This is my final set of inks for my 31 Days Under the Waves upcoming mini comic that you guys will be able to check out in my online shop and through my Gumroad, which is gumroad.com slash soup. And I thought it would be pretty neat to ink this um, for you guys. There have been a few other inks that I've done for y'all. Um, but, you know, sort of like a, a farewell to Inktober. I am really, really ready for it to be done because I have done all 31 inks. I inked while I was in San Jose tabling at 8. I inked while I was camping. I inked while trying, while sick. I inked while juggling Day of the Dead. I inked while doing other work. I mean, I have put my time in. So I am super ready for this to be done. I have at least 30, I think I have 32 drawings. I might do some bonus ones if I'm really feeling, really feeling the call of the wild and the water. Um, all of my inks for this month were mermaids. So if you are into fantasy, if you are into mermaids, you really need to check out 31 Days Under the Waves. And um, I think I will end this video by going over all of my inks after I have finished this one. So keep on watching, stay tuned. So what I'm going to primarily use in this video is a Kuratake Furego Koji. It's one of my favorite brush pens, uh, Fude pens. It's got this little bitty tip. You guys hear me talk about this all the time. They're fairly inexpensive. You can find a link in the description below to where you can get your own a large pen towel brush pen. Again, you can check the description below for links and a pen towel pocket brush. I will also use non-photo blue lead. I prefer color, color Eno, which is made by Pilot M.7. And I will also use a Signo white gel pen. So for the actual inking, I'm going to work in time-lapse because I have done inking tutorials on this channel before. And if you guys ever have any questions or you need to see something demonstrated a different way, a different view, or more in depth, please le let me know in the comments below. I This channel is here to serve you guys. So I will check in with you guys at the end.
right, guys, this is the finished piece for day 31. But we'll get back to this in a moment. So I'm going to go through all of my Inktobers with you guys. I've already actually marked them. Uh, the little pink piggy or the frog means scan it. It is going to be in 31 days under the waves. The little matryoshka is to remind me that this would work well as a coloring sheet. And I'm going to offer my coloring sheets in two ways. Purchasing either way really helps me out a lot. It helps support the blog. It helps support this channel. So if you are enjoying this art, you may want to consider doing that. The first way this is going to be available is, is as a digital download through my Gumroad with the license information available on the image. Um, it's probably also going to be available as an overall pack again with the license information. And then I'm also going to sell physical coloring sheets that have been printed on high quality paper. I'm leaning towards marker paper right now, but if you have a preference, I can try for watercolor paper. Doing that does require a trip to Office Depot as their machines are a little bit more designed to handle heavier weight papers than mine. So we're just gonna go ahead and flip through and let's see if I can pull out my prompts. Yes. So as we flip, we'll talk about the prompts. So this is music. Adventure. And if there's also one that isn't slated to be a coloring page, perhaps due to like um, heavy use of spot black, but you would enjoy it, again, let me know. I'm just sort of picking based on what I know people would want race or racer built for speed oops this isn't intended to be a sketchbook scan mammalian so she's based on an orca and there's a blue fin tuna in the background because that is one of their favorite prey mythological so i went with a split finned siren And this is a little bonus. She's a sea slug. Magical. Hang on a second. Lumberjack. And I came up with all of the prompts myself because I just don't always dig the prompts given to me. Um, for these sort of challenges. And I wanted something, I wanted to tailor this. A school of mermaids, so they're playing with a sea urchin, which would hurt a lot. Beached babe. Oh, I'm sorry, The this is merchild. Um, so I did multiple merchildren apparently. And then this is the school of mermaids and they're at a little undersea school crossing. Mer science features an, a female anglerfish and a male anglerfish doing some chemistry at the vents. Short order sashimi because I mean, other than seaweed and fish and kelp and crustaceans, what would mermaids even eat? Sports. And I tried to do a good mix of different types of mer people, um, male and female mer people, different body sizes. All right. Mer mom and child, and she's got her eggs in the background as well. Mer dad, so here is a pregnant male seahorse because it is the males who get pregnant. Here's a mer family on an outing. So you've got the mer kid, the mer mom with some eggs, the mer dad and their little baby. And they're watching a humpback whale breach. 
then I have a little sub-series called Playful Pets. So here's a little boy with his pet octopus. Here's a little girl riding her pet manta ray. Here is a shark lady with her pet nurse shark. Here's a mer lady with her pet snails. Then it's a mermaid salon. Mermaid Bakery, and some of these I realize would just be completely unrealistic, but we are talking about mer people here. Oh, all right. Sorry, these sticky notes are actually really cheap and they don't want to stick anymore, but I'm going to be scanning this either today or tomorrow, so it doesn't really matter. Mer Gym. So you've got a super buff mer lady working out. She's got some anchors to add some weight. Um, this mer kid is uh, providing a little extra weight and then there's a baby seal as well. This one didn't get marked. I need to put a sticker on it. So stand up comedian. So we've got a sea snail doing some stand up. This one didn't get marked as well. We've got murky waters, so low visibility mermaid. So it's a catfish mermaid in the swamp. Elderly mermaids, because with these prompts, we don't, we're never actually <laughs> encouraged to draw older people. So I wanted to make a point to do so. And it turned out really sweet. We've got a pirate mermaid and she's based off of an eel. Yeah, these stupid sticky notes. We've got a punk mermaid based off of a lionfish. A Lolita mermaid based off of a jellyfish. Mer royalty. And then finally, we have today's prompt, which was mer dance and I did a male and a female betta fish and I do realize that they are not meant to be kept together but I was thinking sort of a tango theme which is where the pose is referenced from and since betta have these beautiful fins I thought that would work really well of course the male is the one who's bedecked here but I think this image turned out really cute as well so I hope you guys look forward to my upcoming 31 days under the waves mini comic it will be available in person for me at conventions it'll also be available at my um, on my online shop in a physical form if you like physical minis um, and that's at natosoup.com slash products and it will be available as a mini comic on my Gumroad as a digital mini comic and that's gumroad.com slash natosoup the coloring pages as individuals and as a coloring book so it's not going to include all of the pages but it will include the images best suited for coloring with um, that have been uh, resized and cropped appropriately um, but with no text that will be available on my Gumroad and physical copies are um, printed coloring pages on nice artist quality paper will be available in the Natto shop at nattosoup.com slash products um, via email if you contact me or through uh, purchasing them at conventions, although supplies will be limited for that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys had a great Inktober. I am super proud of all of you who opted to stick through it. Inktober can be a huge pain in the butt, um, but I'm proud of you. 
and now you have 31 images or however many images you set out to do. Now you have them. Now you know you can accomplish this and it is no small feat. There are loads of people who talk big about doing Inktober and then they drop out. So I am super proud of you who are able to stick through it. That is quite an accomplishment. If you would like me to check out your Inktober, go ahead and link it in the comments below. And um, thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.